Hello. This will be a really quick, brief video. I have a resin piece coming up that a sweet friend of mine asked us to do. And I am coloring some rocks or some glass crystal pieces. So I figured I would just show you how you can do that yourself. I learned this from Tammy Anderson, so I didn't figure this out on my own. And it's super easy and I like the result a lot better than if you were to buy them. So here's some that I have already done. This is blue violet. I did this with pinata alcohol ink. One of the things I like about this versus buying them is you get kind of the multi-dimensional color you would get in nature versus if I go buy purple rocks, they're all a very opaque purple. They don't have a lot of dimension. There's no contrast. There's some here, oops, that are like a lilac color and some that are like a violet color. And you can control how light or dark you make them based on how much ink you use. So what you would need for these is I'm using uh, crushed glass. You can get this probably at Michael's Hobby Lobby. I got this at the Dollar Tree the same day I found it at Hobby Lobby and it's the same exact thing. So I like it a lot. Um, the resin piece that we're going to do, um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you can see it when we do it up um, in future videos. We're going to do a resin piece on this Texas shape and I have one to do for a cross too. So it's uh, currently did a flat coat of a prim primer and spray paint and some gesso just because it's MDF and I don't want it to, I don't want air bubbles. Anyway, uh, I did a trial run on a piece of glass, learned some things I would do differently. Um, but overall, it was a good trial run and um, my friend asked me to do ask Fernando and I actually to do um, something similar and sent me a picture and it's beautiful and so we're going to do our very best to get it as close as we can to what she's looking for and then I was like hey that actually sounds like a lot of fun to do anyway so making sure you can see me so I'm just using a little Dixie cup here um, I'm going to use I think I'm going to use pinata's coral I I think that's what I used last time. It's a good orangey coral. And I usually start off with one, maybe two drips. And if it's too light, you can go darker. And you just stir it in. It's like abundantly simple. And you see, that's a little bit light, so I'm gonna do one more. But I don't want these to be really dark because they're accent pieces. So these are some I've already done. They're kind of peachy. Peachy is what I'm after. I'm not really after orangey, I'm after peachy. So that's kind of what I'm after, something simple. Um, you don't want to go and mix this with alcohol ink because it will bleed on each other. So see how simple that was? And it looks way better than peach glass rocks I could have bought in a bag. I think I might make them just a wee bit darker, but not a lot. Um, metallics, I uh, wasn't sure that they would work. Sorry about the noise, I'm not sure that's kind of ear piercing. I uh, wasn't sure metallics would work. They work fine. So I did some brass from Pinata um, to mimic a gold color. This is it right here. Perfect kind of shiny gold. This is a copper color. This one got a little sticky, but um, I'm going to do more gold than copper because copper on the sample got a lot of bacon comments, which is not the intended outcome. So I'm actually going to use the same cup. Ooh, that's probably way more than I need. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. If you don't follow us on social media or on YouTube, stay tuned. It'll be fun to see how those pieces turn out. 
with metallic alcohol inks, you need to shake it till you hear the little bead. Then you know it's shaking things around. So yeah, as I was saying, you don't want to use alcohol inks with alcohol inks because you will lose, um, they will bleed. So these will work great if you put them right in resin or on resin, as long as there's no additives like alcohol in the piece. So what I did is I did the resin piece with mica alcohol ink resin tents and then as the epoxy was getting kind of tacky and sticky where it wasn't going to really run anymore but it wasn't dry i applied the stones where i wanted them and they stayed so basically the epoxy acted like glue and then for the actual piece i would probably go back and put a Kind of a flood coat of epoxy over the piece and especially over those stones so that they don't randomly start flying off see isn't that perfect perfect not too goldy not too clear maybe one more drop um and then if i want to draw attention to the rocks i would probably add maybe a little bit of um a similar mica and kind of stream it over or right next to the rocks. So I have way, way too many gold rocks, but considering I have a cross and a Texas to do, it'll probably be fine. So yeah, I was looking for some like tealish green. Sorry about my hands, I've been painting all day. Tealish green, um, or almost like a pistachio green, which I could make, I haven't made that yet. This was a combination of teal and Baja Blue, really pretty. Uh, on the piece that she asked me to do, there's a section where, just one little section where there's teal and maybe a little bit of like violet purple. And um, so I created those just so I could sample that and see what that looks like. But yeah, you can do that with, with whatever inks that you have. Um, I hope that this was educational for you. I hope you could see it. I have a bad habit of being out of the frame. Uh, but leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think you would use them for. And um, please like, subscribe, um, let, let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.